treacherous old grape. <coughs> Was she pregnant? 
She thought it was a hat. I knew it was a boa constrictor that swallowed an elephant. I was ever so scared. Oh, grown-ups are hopeless. They, they never understand anything. No matter how hard you try to make them see. We're good. We must. We won't. And I'm growing up the way grown-ups do. When you look at grown-ups up alone, you will see they have a strange point of view. Uh, rather stale. 
Patisserie German, number 31, rule of Don Le Champ, Paris. I've been to the most accordion to play every now and then. Whoa! 
have you grasped its significance? I think so. But then you are not very precise in your speech. You always talk in riddles. Yes. Why? Because I solve all riddles. Well, I have at least extended my knowledge of the inhabitants of Earth to a certain degree. They are particularly interested in the subject of power. It doesn't seem very interesting. And only human beings draw. So fulfilling my mission, I must continue my search for human beings. Goodbye. Hasta la vista. I given up flying as Susanna Rose wanted me to. I now be living a life of luxury. To be a stranger. If I had to make that choice again, I'd know what I'd settle for. But this. To be here with the sand of the stars. And with the chance that maybe they're the last things I'll ever see. Oh well, when it when it happens, it happens. Oh! We are? But think of it. In the last three years, we've extended the mail flights from Toulouse to Barcelona to Iran, to Dakar, and all through our unswerving dedication to the future of mankind. You, all you're dedicated to is breaking your neck. Now, Susie, be nice. Well, give me a cigarette. Ah, now that's more like it. Thanks. I still hate you all the same. Oh, lies, 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 my Susie. Now let's face it. You've always loved me. I've always loved you. George has always loved you. You've always loved George. George has always loved me. I've always loved George. Whether we like it or not, we are the eternal triangle. And I suppose that's how it's going to be. Oh, poor baby. Married to a suicidal moron. I, a suicidal moron with another suicidal moron for a buddy. And you don't even have the decency to be serious about it. Oh, we're serious. But in a lighthearted way. Facing the future with our hearts, our heads, and our feet in the air. Miles and miles of space. No one breathing in your face. Where the clouds are, and no clouds are, I am known as Ace. Following the stars is more fun than motor cars. Lights and buses are passe. Latest things, the Milky Way. Paravion.
cause to be lacking to and the post our service that France! Airline of champions! Oh, Tony! Oh, God, this is if, if it does happen one day, no, if, Tony, if it does happen one day, it is yours, it happens to do. But you better jump out of your saloon, baby, too, without your parachute! No! <laughs>
I'm a fennec. What's that? A fox that lives in the desert, a fennec. Come and talk to me. I can't talk to you. I'm not tame. Oh, please excuse me. What does that mean, tame? Well, it's clear you do not live here. What are you looking for? A human being. Human beings are very rare in the desert. That's why I live here. Human beings have guns. They hunt. Very disturbing. Their only redeeming quality is that they raise chickens. <laughs> are you looking for chickens? No. What does that mean? Tame. <laughs> it means to establish ties. Ties? For example, to me, you are nothing more than a little boy, like a hundred thousand other little boys. To you, I am nothing more than a fox, like a hundred thousand other foxes. But if someone came to me... What? Well, then to each other, that someone and I would be unique in all the world, however imperfect we might seem to others. Where I live, I have a friend. She's called Rose. She's terribly perfect and I ran away from her. I think of her all the time. Perhaps she's tamed me. Well, it's possible. When one is not tamed, life is very difficult. I hunt chickens. Men hunt me. All the chickens are just alike and all the men are just alike. But if someone tamed me, you wouldn't tame me, would you? I don't know how. I could show you. Would you, please? Well, I am very pressed for time, but very well. First, we sit. Not so near, not so near. Here? Oh, that's a little close, but all right. Well, now what do you do? Shh, nothing. You just sit there as if you happen to feel like sitting. And I? Snap at a fly. Now, you look out of the corner of your eye, and I look out of the corner of my eye. You lift your head, I don't lift my muzzle. You look straight at me, until slowly, I look straight at you, and... Well, now what do we do? Well, now, very slowly, you move an inch towards me. And I flatten my ears and I start to jump back, but then, but then I don't. Now, of course, if you happen to have a chicken with you, you would hold it out for me, I would sniff at it, and... There seems to be a great deal of... <laughs> That's because I'm not tamed yet. Now, you say perhaps, Hello, Fennec. Pretty Fennec? Hello, Fennec. Pretty Fennec. And I, ever so gently... Mm -hmm. Oh, no! What is it? Well, this is supposed to take many, many days, but we must be particularly suited for each other because... Oh! This is wonderful! I feel it happening! You feel it? Once I'm ten. 
You'll spot a man with a gun in your brain That I'm a very long distance away If you see a chicken, if you see a punk You'll know that my heart's going on to punk Your eyes Watch out for the bear. 
I'll throw in a muzzle. How about that? That should come in a situation. You're a very kind man. Probably the best human being I'm likely to meet. Ah, oh, well, I haven't had too much dealings with hallucinations, but I say, as hallucinations go, you... Sorry, your flying machine is broken. Oh, thank you. Maisel must make you sad to be stuck here in the desert. Oh, yes, yes, that's, uh, that's about, just about it. I wish I could help you. Oh, no, no, no that's all right. No, would it be all right for me to still have simulacrum for you? It might raise your spirits a little. A, a simulacrum? But what about that? It's not the real thing. It's something you invent, like the real thing. I have it already in my mind. If you're a prince. A prince? Yes. If you're a prince, singing items are quite easy to create once you've got the knack of it. Uh oh. <laughs> well then, uh, yes, go ahead. All right. I hereby present in honor of my friend, Michelle Chuan, the son of Exuberi. A simulacrum of my heroic voyage to Earth to the vast expanse of the firmament. Okay. You might as well issue a royal command for me to leave, because I'm leaving right now. 
everybody before me ever thought of owning them. Do you ever look at them and think how beautiful they are? Well, of course not. No time for such frivolity. I'm a serious man. I own them. I administer them. I count them. I put my numbers down on a piece of paper. I put the paper in a drawer and I lock the drawer. And that is all? That is enough. And now, I find your presence very disturbing. Can I remove yourself? Do you count sunsets too? Of course not. Sunsets are not commodities. They have no value. Why would it be? I used to drink when we were brothers. 
I mean, literally, in my well, dreams, we were brothers. Well, maybe we are. I mean, who knows what went on when our parents took those weekend floating trips together? I guess I've always been a sentimental idiot. Always needing someone to look up to. You. Always climb the tallest tree. Don't die, guys. That's right. I actually used to think, if only I could be like Finest hours. And of course, when I walked out of the night, George. 
good morning. I am scarcely awake and still I'm reading my dystopia. Would you be sweet enough just slightly to rearrange my extreme black petrol? There. <laughs> Thank you, dear. I might use intact milk with some sugar categories. I don't see any. Uh, well, that's messy. Now bring me my breakfast water. I'll warm it up to just the right temperature. <laughs>
for the galaxy and you could hear me. At least then you would know that I tried to redeem what I did. I tried to bring you back the sheep, although it took up almost all of my courage. I know that it was wrong to leave you. I had no right to fly. I must get back past your alone, and I know that you need me, but can I? Oh, can I? Oh.
If it's any satisfaction to you, I'm never going to forgive myself. Get the hell out of my life! Am I as much of a son of a bitch as that? Or has it always been me, 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 with other commitments, with other people, with what could have been love, just things? Have I missed the whole point, just coasting through life on my irresistible charm? Excuse me. Something terrible has happened. The galactic airstream has changed its course. I can never get back home again. Well, that makes two of us. I don't know what to do. What? Oh, come on, mighty prince of asteroid B61. That's not like you. Well, you'll think of something. I know I have to, but I don't know what. Well, um, why don't you, why don't you sing me your volcano song? It uh, might raise your spirits. All right. I got three volcanoes. Two are hot. The other one is not. But I keep Now to realize you can't blame someone for not being what you want them to be. 
I've never seen you on yet without a gun in it. Then, goodbye, dear Fennec. I'll think of you always. And for me, the sand will always be beautiful, like a field of ripening wheat, because we have met. Remember, if you think with your heart instead of your head, you can do anything. Unless, of course, you're a chicken. <laughs> Way. It was all planned, but I should meet you and the well uh, men in my way. That's it, isn't it? Isn't it? You were sent to tame me? Well, I would be very cautious about giving an opinion on that. Some matters I find are unfathomable. But I do consider our relationship to have been most satisfactory. And now, to remember at our meeting, I would like to exchange. Like bells, a million 
right now.